Another issue that comes with water, especially standing water, is bugs. A bird bath, a pond, a puddle, even a kid's pool can become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. But they are not the only pests that people should be aware of during the summer season. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here for more on that, Doc. Well, you know, thanks, Ben. As you know, weather conditions have a big impact on mosquitoes and ticks. In fact, these pests are not just annoying. The number of serious diseases being spread by mosquitoes and ticks has risen dramatically, making it more important than ever to protect yourself. This year and really the last few years, we're seeing a lot more complaints of tick bites, people finding ticks either embedded in their skin or just on their clothing. At his offices in Clarkston, Dr. Timothy O'Neill has no doubt ticks are on the rise. It's become to the point that probably two or three times a week right now we're getting requests and I expect that to increase as the summer goes on. This is the tick that Brandon Crawford was shocked to find crawling in his bed. I kind of rolled over and I felt a little tickle on my side and I reached over and I kind of brushed at it and it came off. The day before he had been visiting his uncle in Macomb County. We were out just walking through the grass. It was mowed. We weren't trekking through the woods or anything. Um, and he had mentioned, oh, the dogs had a couple ticks on them. Keep an eye out for ticks. That's the advice from the nation's top health officials, too. The CDC recently warned the number of illnesses from mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas has tripled in the U.S. from 2004 to 2016. During that time, nine new germs spread by mosquitoes and ticks have been discovered in the U.S., including the chikungunya and Zika viruses. Adding to the concern, changes in temperature across the U.S. have allowed mosquito and tick populations to have longer active seasons and spread into new areas. It's a trend the Washtenaw County Health Department has been monitoring for many years. We know that this was the time that's coming and it's continuing um, forward where we're seeing more ticks in more areas. This map shows just how widespread ticks have become in Michigan. The red counties have confirmed human exposures to Lyme disease or ticks that have tested positive for the bacteria. The polka dot counties have a potential risk, but remember, ticks don't stop at the county line. They can be in your yard, they could be in a little patch of brush just off to the side of your yard. When heading outdoors, the CDC recommends using insect repellent that protects against mosquitoes and ticks. And everyone needs to make daily tick checks a part of their regular routine. They're tricky and they're very, they can be very small. I mean, the, the more dangerous type of tick, uh, the black-legged tick, is actually smaller than a sesame seed. This graphic shows some of the places ticks like to hide out. You need to carefully check yourself, your kids, and your pets. Come inside, do your tick checks. Check all your cracks and crevices, make sure that you are tick free, um, and then remove any ticks if you do find them. Brandon wasn't bitten by the tick he found, but he will be more careful. My cousin said, oh, we probably should have put on bug spray. And that was, he was right. <laughs> Dr. O'Neill says there's no need for panic or paranoia, but we do need to take precautions. Ticks are here in Michigan and we better get used to it.